Okay, so today, uh, yeah, we're going to have a lecture about uh, managing time pressure. I guess this is actually a topic, regardless about your level, many of you have actually encountered this kind of uh, problem or trouble in your games and you have a headache about it. And uh, so many times I have heard about, I played a good game, I mean, and then somehow I mess up and I'm dead, I lose game, so sad. Is that anything has happened to you before? I believe that has happened before, right? Yeah, all right. Okay. Mm. So, uh, uh, yeah, so today uh, we are going to talk about in general this topic, and uh, I have prepared some examples, but I want to tell you those examples is actually secondary because, uh, I mean, those examples I have, I, I have given here is uh, basically about in case if you are in that game and in case if you are under time pressure, what you should do. But you know here, I can see you are actually probably sitting on your chair pretty comfortably and even probably drinking and eating something at the same time. So you are in a relaxed mode. Uh, this is my suggestion to everyone. So here I want to, yeah, at the start, I want to actually already remind in case if you want to get the most out, out, out from this lecture today, uh, I want to give you a few minutes. So let's say in the next few minutes, I'm going to talk. So you still have time to adjust yourself, to adjust your mindset a little bit. And imagine you are, it is as if you are now in the middle of your game and you are under time pressure. You need to feel like it. And then basically you react accordingly. So later, for example, when we are doing practice, I will say 30 seconds quickly. You know, you need to be able to react accordingly. Do you understand me? Of course, if you say, I just want to know in theory what it is, yeah, let's say how I supposed to handle it about practice. Well, I'm, I'm going to handle it later. You can do it later. But my suggestion is here, if you may follow me in this lecture, you can get the most out of it. Okay, I hope that's clear. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, we are talking basically about under time pressure. And uh, mm, the number one thing actually I want to tell here is many people actually says, well, I mean, bear me now. Crap, what I'm gonna do? My bear me is bad. I cannot, I can't do it. I'm gonna lose. The first thing I should say here is, the moment when you give your mind this kind of signal, likely you will lose. Well, not necessarily, you might win it. In case if the opponent give he himself exactly the same signal, and in case if he's also in value, well, then basically that's a lottery. Yeah, and then who are you gonna win it? God decide. So number one thing, do not give yourself negative signal, okay? You should tell yourself, I'm capable to manage. It's difficult, but I can do it. You must tell yourself this. Without this premise, nothing I'm going to mention in the following helps. That's number one thing. And that is more important than anything. You may not really be good on, let's say, fast reading or handling complicated situations in Bell Yomi. You may not, but you must give yourself some confidence. And you actually will notice the whole human brain actually works in a mysterious way that we haven't discovered yet. When you give yourself the confidence, you tell yourself, yes, I can do it. I can manage it. Somehow you actually exploit some extra ability you haven't found of yourself. You will find it. So this is number one thing. And uh, yeah, I, want, I want to emphasize again, there's nothing more important than this. So this one I have to emphasize again. I guess this is clear. This is number one. Okay, then I'm going going uh, I'm going go down to number two. Okay. Can, can you imagine in Bayomi you have uh, this kind of uh, phenomenon? Crap, I'm in Bayomi. What am I gonna do here? Yeah, okay, this is very difficult. Yeah, this I don't know. I don't know what to do here. You just uh, complain, and then time has passed, and then suddenly it comes down. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, and you are pushed to player more. And then I say, crap, okay, how, how can, I, can I possibly play here? I don't know what I was thinking. This has happened. This has happened before. Yeah, this has happened before. I believe this has happened. All right. So let's say, Bear Yomi, let's take it as a, a 30 seconds. I just take 30 seconds as an example. Nobody really have 30 seconds, including the top row. They don't really have 30 seconds. Because normally when it comes down to 25, 28, you have to play. So basically, around, around that time, you are basically pushed to make a decision. I need to play. Yeah, so nobody really have 30 seconds, but to, let's say, to a, uh, to a good Bear Yomi player, you do have 25. At least you have 25. Let's say top row, normally they, they have 28. But if you say, crap, what am I going to do here? I don't know. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is so annoying. When you complain and the time passed by here, so in other words, you are in panic and you actually spend your time to deal with your emotions, you, do, you don't have 20 seconds. You, you don't really have 25 seconds. So it is important, let's say, before you enter Bear Yomi, you are already prepared. OK, so here I'm about to enter Bear Yomi. What am I going to do in general? And then in that 25 seconds, think about the goal only. Just think about the goal. You actually will notice you do have a lot of time. 25 seconds is actually a lot. But if you actually spend your time on those other things, of course you don't. Then that's like a police game. I guess that's understandable. Yeah, so uh, as my experience in my teaching or coaching, uh, let's say, to my students to deal with this kind of uh, problems, I find out those who are, let's say, in real life more emotional, has the more difficulty on handling this. And those who is capable to think, okay, this is the right thing to do. I have to do it regardless how I feel. Okay? So yeah, those they are they have easier time. Not like if you are emotional, you can't. It's just harder. Because uh, your work is basically to actually put your mind above above your above your mood to control your mood at that moment. And then you're gonna have enough time to think. Okay, so this is the, yeah, this is this is the second thing I want to tell. Okay, okay, and then okay. In general, you need to know what you should do. How do you know? How do you know? Okay, I'm in bear. I mean, in general, what I have to do. Do we have an answer here? In general, how do you know? Look at the board. Mm. Look at the board. I guess you are looking at the board all the time while playing. Mm. Okay, that's a good one. Prepare time through it beforehand. Okay, that's a good one. Anything else? Because you, yeah, basically you have time through it, and then you say, when needed, I'm going to play time through it. I get time. You get time for what? Keep an eye on the clock. Mm. Yeah, keep an eye on the clock is actually somewhat important in, let's say, a real life tournament. Fortunately, when we are playing currently in online tournament, basically the board and the clock is basically right next to each other. That actually make it easier. Mm. Yeah, okay, that's also correct. Yeah, find what's the most important thing on the board. That is also right. But actually here, so far, I didn't really hear actually the most, most important part here. So basically, I need to make a decision quickly on how I'm going to drive this country towards the next tough period of time. In general, where might this boat be going to run towards? How do you know where?
That is that is the question. Do you how do you know in general what am I gonna do in Bahamian in general? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So you you can see Oscar is an experienced player. So it is important you know what is the border situation. Am I leaving or behind? In general, by how much? In general, in the following game, how am I going to play? You need to know that, and then have a at least a general plan, if not very specific. Yeah, it has to be like this. So let's say, uh, uh, yeah, for example, if you, if, if to me, uh, I think Oscar can actually handle it by, like, say, 30 seconds, he can actually quick uh, do a quick counting and he can actually know about board situation. I will need two period. Normally, yeah, to me, I will need two period to actually have the, yeah, let's say, in general, the whole board points, num the, yeah, the numbers in mind. But to many of you, uh, probably you have a difficulty. That is why my recommendation is normally two to three minutes before you interpret. I mean, you notice, okay, I'm two to three minutes ahead. You have to count, and not just counting, also look into, for example, yeah, so counting is basically solid territory. You also need to look into where are the potential territory, the potential. You also need to look into where are the big groups, and also where potentially there can be a big group. For example, there's a cutting point. There's a relatively big shape in the center, like a two-space jump, which potentially can be separated. So that can be later where the opponent can come to assault. Look into those potential blind spots, define it. Those two to three minutes, you need to do all those work. And then after you gather the whole report, then have your best guess. Okay, so like this, in general, what is the whole board situation? Am I confident to win from here? And uh, if, if I'm confident in general, what I should do? In general, if I'm not, what I should do? Yeah, so here, yeah, this is actually the important step you have to take two to three minutes before you interview. Him. And then the following will be relatively simple. I'm saying relatively simple. Just think about it. If you are behind, if you are behind, on the, you, you say here, if I just play normal, I'm not confident to win. What are you going to do? What are you going to do then? I guess that's relatively simple. Yeah, that is why normally in Bayomi, if you are behind, okay, it is easier to play. Is it easier? If you are behind, caveman. <laughs> yeah, normally, okay, so here I heard all those words. Normally, this is my description. Normally, when you are behind, and then you say, I'm looking for an uh, opportunity to actually come back to the game. I, imagine in real life, my description descript, description will be, everybody's dream is that when you are under that kind of status, you will see in front of you, there is a back. That's everybody's dream. If there's one back that can solve all your problems and you just need to concentrate on thinking about, okay, how am I going to work out on this back? Okay, all solved. That will be the uh, ideal situation if there is such an opportunity. But if, uh, I mean, let's say the bank doesn't exist, in most of the cases, sadly, I, yeah, I should tell sadly, in most of the cases, when we are behind, in front of us, we don't see a bank, we see a store. And you only have let's say, a water gun. But actually, you still need, you still know what you have to do, right? Maybe, let's say, the money that is in that, yeah, in that grocery store, you take them all, it still doesn't really compensate, let's say, your, your deficit on the board. It doesn't matter. There will be another one, hopefully. Yeah, and then you look for the next one. So here, either one bag or several stores step by step. In most of the cases, you need to be patient 
and uh, look for store by store. Sometimes even if you find a bank, you can't really take all the money from there. And then still, then that is uh, one bank, one store, or one bank, another bank, but still little by little. So basically, it has to be like that. But then basically, you can see you only have one direction to go. That is, I need to drop. So that is easier, okay? The difficult part might be, what if I'm leading? Actually, let me ask you, if you are leading, normally what do you do when you are saying, okay, so I'm in Bell Yomi, I'm leading. Hmm. Play safe. Try to play safe. Yeah, may, may, yeah may, many people speak like, speak like this, huh? Hmm. Um, okay, this is my suggestion to you. You wouldn't take extra risk when you are, uh, yeah, when you are leading the game. If there's, uh, for example, you, you think you are leading and then you say, if I take this way, it is unclear, there's a risk. And uh, I might actually lose my, yeah, all my leading because of this. Then if uh, you have an alternative not to enter, you prefer to choose that way. But otherwise, remember, it is important you play normal. You play normal. That is important. That is important. So of course, let's say, uh, you, yeah, let's say either in that two to three minutes, you will actually look into, do I have any bank? The security system can be problematic. Do I have any store that the opponent might actually aim at? You're gonna look into them. But if, as your judgment, it is safe, it is defined as safe, and then you do not really act, add extra guard there. So you can't play safer, you still play normal. Because I have seen some of my students who tries to play safer in the second half of the game when he was leading, eventually lost the game. And basically, it is like his opponent just robbed one store by another and eventually overcome the deficit. Yeah, that, type, that actually happens all the time. Okay, so basically, yeah. Basically, this is the case. And if you say, okay, it is basically even, okay, that actually also relatively easy because you just play go, you just play normal. I actually take the criteria as if I'm slightly leading, I take it as if it is dead even, and I just play normal. And if, for example, I might actually face to a risk, and if I actually run away from that risk, that means I'm gonna do something. Then I face to the risk. I face to the risk. If I'm just slightly ahead, that is. But you can see, all those is actually based on you are calm, okay? You are not emotional, and you know the whole board situation in general. You know the bank, the store, their location, the financial situation there, and you know in general what you have to do next. This is basically the all the tasks you need to do before you enter Bear Yomi. So if some of you you may say, Jeff, you said it's two to three minutes, to me that's still not enough. Well, give yourself more time then. Yeah, then that means for example, you need five minutes be before you enter Bear Yomi. But when you are in Bear Yomi, your mind needs to be very clear on what you have to do. You can't enter the dark forest without knowing where you are heading towards. That's the only thing that is forbidden. I hope this whole procedure, the steps are all clear. All right, so this is in theory what you have to do. And soon we are gonna enter some, some practice and you can see here, I'm already, I have already talked for like 20 minutes and I hope you may already entered some sort of mindset after I talk about all those kind of ghost stories. <laughs> I hope you already entered some kind of mindset and then that will gonna be helpful for yeah for our following practice, the examples I'm gonna give. But that's still not enough. 
Remember, you need some real practice. And the real practice is actually, it needs to be like you play a normal game and then you enter uh, Bayomi in the second half. And so you can follow this procedure. Well, yeah, that is true here. Yeah, basically, soon we are entering Bayomi. I am not sure. Are you ready? We are soon entering Bayomi. Actually, I should say soon we are entering that two to three minutes before Bayomi. Are you ready? Tell me if you are ready, and then I'm going to show the first example. Ready to fight? Okay, you need to be mentally ready. Mentally ready. Seriously. I want to see a couple more yes that I'm going to show. All right. OK, I am going to show now. OK, let's do it. OK, so three minutes. OK, you are black in this game. And please look at the whole board situation and tell me how is it. Hi. Yes, if you already have an answer, please answer. But for those who are still in the process, please keep doing it. Because the stream, uh, I, here I give three minutes and I can see there's still some time left. Okay. So if uh, you have already looked at the whole board and you have done some counting, uh, question here is, uh, how is the whole board situation? Who is ahead? Who is ahead? And uh, how do you describe about, let's say, how much he's ahead? Is he far ahead, slightly ahead, or even, or slightly behind, far behind like that? Hmm. Okay, you know here when yeah in the past two to three minutes you I yeah I believe you have done the counting. I hope you also pay attention on specific. Let me ask a question here. So what is the status of white? Uh, let's say uh, the E eighteen group on top left corner. What is the status of that group? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, is that group white just a dead, or is there still something? 
Okay, yeah, so actually many of you see that already. Co-Eve White Plains. So that group is not dead yet. In other words, that part of the territory, when we count for black territory, you can't count it all for black yet. Yeah, I guess you can see our code, right? Yeah, most of you will see our code there already. Yeah, so we first need to actually uh, notice this kind of, uh, I call it uncertainties, undefined. It. Yeah, okay, two thirds for black is uh, probably about right. But it's not over there, right? I'm not sure if everyone noticed the code, and uh, if uh, you didn't, after we noticed the code, will that affect your judgment? Um, oh, yeah, if, uh, yeah, uh, I'll put a, okay, I'll just uh, put a stone, yeah, somebody said a P9, I'll put a stone P9, okay? So this honey exists, right? And uh, black, I guess in this case, probably black does capture. And then, isn't this code to live? So this does affect your judgment, huh? Okay, but so here, I guess you'll see the code. Good, let's go forward. Next question here. Uh, but black is still ahead, am I right? Does it affect your judgment on black ahead here? Is G18 necessary? I believe it is necessary. <laughs> Yes, if I have not in the black play G8 in there, I can't see a call anymore. Yeah, so I think G8 is necessary. Yeah. Okay, but then this is my question here. Uh, yeah, with this board situation, does black need to take a risk to invade right, right, right side? Yeah, of course. Yeah, let's say it does still have a lot to do with reading. And so if you say my reading is slow or I cannot read, uh, that is a problem. So, uh, mm, yeah, that is the ability we need here in order to actually judge about things accurately. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay, doesn't matter. So here, I guess you already know about this board situation. Okay, so now I want to tell you, imagine now you already know about the board situation. Now you're in bed, you mean 30 seconds. Type to me where you're gonna play, 30 seconds now. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-eight. Thirty. Okay. I hope you have played your stone or at least you lose a period. <laughs> okay. Okay, let, yeah, let me see. We have many opening. N4, eleven, eleven, okay, eleven, okay. Mm. And twelve, maybe. Uh huh. Um, P nine. Uh huh. I'm six. I'm six. I see. O ten. Uh huh. P nine. Uh huh. I'm five. Uh huh. L twelve. 
Aha. T6. Where's T6? T6 peep. Haha, <laughs> okay. T6, I see. Oh, 11. Ah. Q8. Q8. Uh huh. And N4. I see. Hmm. Okay, so what do you think about in the game? Black with this evasion? What do you think? Risky. Do you think anyone gonna die? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Yes. Ah, oh. yeah, I know that you have played one higher, but uh, you play one higher is either to run towards center. Black played one lower. He's aiming at to get some eye ship on the side. Hmm. Ah, oh, what about S7 instead? But okay, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, let's say here. Um, so let's say many of you say it is risky. And uh, I have seen two opinions about the shoulder. Are you confident to win, to play the shoulder by giving what the, the entire right side? Are you confident? And also, I have seen a couple, let's say, say something like this or this. The question is, are you confident to win? Okay, you are confident to win. I want to tell you, on this board situation, consider here, uh, earlier you have already made the judgment, black is ahead here in this game. I want to tell you, there are multiple ways black can win the game. And here, let's say black play this kind of shoulder, or this kind of kema. If you are confident to win, black will win like this. But if you say, I play like this, and I can see I give one so much territory there, I don't think I'm going to win. Then you can't do this. You will not understand. Well, you have to be confident. Okay, if you say you are not confident to win, even with, without time pressure, well, you know, uh, I'm not saying you're gonna always lose, but you're gonna have uh, enormous difficulty against a similar strength opponent. Hmm. Yeah. So here. Yeah, under bear, you mean you already know the, the, the you already know the situation, and you say I just reduce, and uh, I have a content I can win it, or I have a content I can reduce to win it. You just play this, and then the following it will be end game, and you play normal, fine. Or if you say, okay, I'm not some so confident, and then I read a little bit here, and I I want to invade here, I can live. That is also fine. The worst thing here you can yeah you can do is, I don't know about the situation. And I just, uh, yeah, I just played a move here to reduce because this looks safe and I wouldn't die. And uh, what is the situation? I don't know. I don't know. How am I going to play the following game? I don't know. Or I didn't really count about the, uh, about the board. I just feel like he cannot have the entire right side. I wait here. Can I leave? I don't know. That's the worst. And I want to tell you, in this game, this black player basically will belong to the ladder. He waited here. If you say you wait here, is that possible? Yes. Yes, but the problem is he actually didn't know what exactly may happen next. Yeah, so in this game, since the black is, is ahead, so you have multiple ways to win here. And uh, I, yeah, here I can already tell this shoulder will be my move. But here to me, this camera is fine. 
And then in this this one is slightly slow, but probably this is fine too. Yeah. And this will be the way. Okay. So uh, the game is relatively close, but I'm ahead, and I'm just confident to play any game to win. That yeah, it will be like that. Or if you play here and you read it, fine too. Yeah, that is my move. Yeah, that that shoulder will be exactly how I'm gonna, how am I gonna play here. But okay, so earlier you have already experienced the, the three minutes, and then you also have experienced the thirty seconds. I hope you felt at least more or less similar to a real game. And uh, this is, uh, I'm not sure if this is your first, first practice of this kind of procedure, but remember, this kind of procedure need to be repeatedly happening, and then you're gonna get more experience. Here, with this experience, because we are in the middle of a lecture, we cannot really say, for example, okay, Jeff, can we just play this one, and then we just play a bear, you mean black and white, both in bear, you mean, and let's play again. If you may know some similar strength players or similar strength friends each other, you might actually try it out later about this one. Here I can only tell you have the procedure and you follow the procedure. And so, for, for example, here you already know as black, I'm leading, I'm leading by approximately this much. Okay, that's fine. In the following, in bear, you mean something unexpected may happen. It may happen. And when it happens, you say, okay, here I think I lost something, probably something like two to three points. Okay, so you lost two to three points. Your original number, you have some sort of number in your mind. And then you say, I need to deduct this. You, you, maybe you don't have the exact, the exact number, but you have that kind of feeling there. And then you may deduct here and there. Okay, the opponent lost something, you increase something there. And that will gonna help you roughly judge about, okay, this game, where am I at? You need to know where you are at. It is important you know where you are at, even in Bayomi. If yeah, at least roughly. Ah, okay. Black wouldn't have a let's say too much hard time on his stone because okay, as for white have a lot of points. You know, there's one advantage. Yeah, I call it advantage. When white red side become territory, that is uh, the moment when white red side become territory. Likely, S5 is black in the end game. So it is true that white red side is not. Somebody says thirty points. I don't think that's thirty points. Yeah, and it is true. Yeah, so here, let's say Dave, what Dave said here, here is correct. Because you can see what has the center influence. Yeah, here, this is a board situation. What will, go, what will get either or. And so, let's say two black. This one, in the center, there's more space. So this is not as risky compared to entering red side. As you have mentioned, to invade the red side, you need to read. But the important thing here is also when white has the red side territory, considered uh, the cutting point there at R R six, then likely honey and connect that one will be black Sunday after. So black will uh, yeah get that end game benefit. So yeah, so here to me, uh, black supposed to choose the center over the side, but. I don't mind if black choose this way. If you if you say I have a look into it and I'm confident here, I can win from here, and I know that black that soon wouldn't just die. Fine. Yeah, we can we can see a little bit here. So for example, this one and this with with Nobi. Okay. So for now, I will just leave it. For example, black may just uh, uh, do something like two space jump, for example, and we are talking about the future. Let's say we are talking about future like. Wait, oh, sorry. Uh, honey, connect. If white doesn't answer, can you see there? There can be a problem. Can you see it? So, for example, if I um, okay, I just add a move here. Okay, I guess you can see the club. There can be a problem, right? So, you can, for example, it isn't here. We push up, push this one, cut, Atari, push here. We can push the third time. This is clear. Yeah, so 
Yeah, like this, this can be a big trouble. So let's say you may say, okay, then tactic te technically, why well, can I actually ignore this one? And so just let you climb and get something. You can't say this is silly. But you know, in end game, if we say here we play an end game, if it's goalie, but we have a big follow up, that is in practice considered as silly. As silly. Because we basically get the related compensation, even if the opponent can okay. So it's not like the opponent can okay and we, yeah, let's say we we just let him get it. You know, it's, uh, yeah, so yeah, we get something out of it. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> but the uh, club is silly as well. Okay, but in here, I guess about this one, this is a clear. I have explained why, if one reset is territory, likely this honey is sending, right? Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Or around a similar value. Yeah, I would say just around similar value because when you are in Bayer, you can only estimate roughly. Hmm. Yeah, actually, yeah, from this is also you need to count, for example, black has a sentence definite around here. And yeah, let's say around A. So you can only count below the fourth line there. And you, if you take S5, let's say into black pocket there, actually white red side is rather limited. And here black can also reduce white center. Yeah, in general here, if this happens, I'm pretty op optimistic about this black situation. Of course. Not like in the following game, there wouldn't be any story. Why are we gonna, yeah, let's say, fight against me? And why are we gonna, for example, uh, at some point try to trigger the top left corner call, for example? Yeah, there still will be fight. There will still be complication. And that is why earlier I have emphasized, even if we are leading in the game, we need to try to play normal. Not like we're gonna play safer. Safer is a toxic word in, in Go. Yeah, just let's try not to speak safer in Go. In real life, we can talk about safer. We are already safe, but we can be safer. Yeah, because our life is important. Nobody wants to die. So to add insurance there is understandable. And in Go, we say we are safe. We don't want safer because that's a waste of money. We don't, we can't afford it. Okay, I guess about this example, it is clear now. Uh, Okay, uh, is uh, the age 10 card something? It could be, it could be, but uh, here we can hardly say because uh, in the center, at the moment, white dominate. At the moment, white dominate, but we can't rule out, let's say, after the situation goes towards the center, and uh, there, black may trigger it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there, yeah. At this moment, we can already, yeah. But they, it has to be black get this center drop, right? So he, yeah, this moment you say, huh? I here I can see that thing. Yeah, there's a card under that can probably be helpful. If uh, here center is in general white, at this moment I don't think you can see it, because that's not realistic. Hmm. Uh. This is still the first game. Uh, Oscar, uh, let's say I will tell you about the about the story of those games later. Yeah, because they are mostly my students' games. Mostly, actually, yeah, I, I have a few from pro games here. Mm. All right, okay, uh, yeah, we have limited time. Let's go to the second example. Okay. Mm, okay, we are still entering uh, three minutes. Ready? Let's do the second practice. Ready now? The second one is slightly harder. All right. And also the board situation is also harder to judge. I probably should actually give some reminder because actually you are not, uh, let's say, you, after all, you are not a player in those games. And uh, yeah, so the second game, it is a lot shorter than this one and the board can be more abstract. But I, yeah, that game, I know at that point, both players have already entered the Bayer So believe me, 
that is a situation you need to judge. Okay, so here we count three, two, one, and you are black here. Oh, okay. Oscar, remember this one. Okay. Ah, oh, someone directly mentioned about the moon. I see. Uh, we are here not talking about moon. You need to actually three minutes answer the basic question, and then we interview. You mean we talk about moon? No, we are not talking about move yet. Sorry, we don't talk about move, move yet. Answer the basic question. Uh, I still, I'm sorry, you have three minutes. You need to actually do the work in three minutes. Imagine you only have three. Yeah, you need to three minutes to tell me in general what is the board situation. And later I will have some specific question you also need to be able to answer about the uh, about this board situation. I know it's too hard to evaluate the whole board, but here, you know, imagine you are black here and you are responsible to answer the question. In the following game, in general, how am I going to play? And you can't say, it's hard to say how am I going to play. If that is the answer, how are you going to play? So you can't say, it's hard to say. You must give yourself an answer. And still, I'm saying we we don't talk about a specific move. We talk about, uh, like yeah, the general information. Okay, I'm counting the time. You have ten seconds. I I just count the time roughly. Yeah, I hope you have ten seconds. Okay, time out. Okay, here I have an important question here. Uh, can you guys tell me on the top side, I have a specific question. You know, here in this, in this kind of board situation, this kind of specific question you answer is more important. Yeah, you need to be able to answer the specific. What is going on on the top side if, uh, or is there anything what it can do on the top, let's say. On the top, around the N18 two stones. Is there and there is there anything what it can do there? What is something which is? What well, can play you said there? Alright, my question is uh, can you imagine potentially potentially there's something there?
Yeah. Oscar is actually here giving you some useful tip, let's say. Yeah, this is actually a very important detail. Actually, you know, here I can give you extra time for this because uh, this top side shape exists already a long time ago. I can actually show early in the game. You can see actually here, so black is actually, uh, yeah, here black came out and attack white center. Actually, the top side shape even existed before that. What I'm trying to say here is, as soon as this top side shape like this, yeah, it has already existed, it is actually black task to already define, okay, what is going on around there, and do I have any blind spot around there? Because that shape looks suspicious and you need, you need to define it already at this moment. So you support already defining now before you play elsewhere. Do you understand me? That's important. Uh, I will go back to the position I'm talking about here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's say, uh, yeah. So actually it's supposed to be after white has a stone here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ah, the board is not changing. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what to do here because to me it's changing. I'm I'm changing the board and I don't know why the board is frozen. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, now I can see. Yeah. So on the switch. Streaming, nothing is changed. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear me, you can see me, but uh, you cannot really uh, see the changing of the board, I see. But you know here, uh, I cannot really do anything on this one because Auntie is the, the one who is handling this and uh, Auntie might be at the moment away from board. Is Auntie there? Let's try. Oh, okay, good, Auntie is there, okay. So yeah, the, yeah let's say I have changed the, the board position slightly, but uh, it is frozen. Sorry, I'm fixing it just now. Okay, okay, thanks, yeah. I just got uh, disconnected over here, that's the reason. Ah, that's why, I see. <laughs> okay, Norris. Yeah, I, I was afraid you are <laughs> Yeah, you are not there. Okay, okay, good, okay. So basically, you can see here, on the top side, after black attack, like this, and white knobby, this shape is already there. Actually, at least at this moment, black has to already define, okay. So on this top side, this shape looks suspicious. In theory, important here I said, in theory, what might happen and what might hurt. So here, uh, let's say our time to think about the top side as a procedure shouldn't be included inside those three minutes, rather this moment. Uh, yeah, so this moment, actually black supposed not to be in Belgium yet. But it has to be done now, here. But okay, yeah, uh, we, yeah we can come back to the end. Situation here. Yeah, so can you see what can happen on the top? Actually, I noticed some somebody wrote you something earlier, but uh, oh. ah, seventeen. Yes, okay, so here I already see an answer here. Yeah? Uh, so I will just put a black stone somewhere. Okay, I'll just put it here. Okay, so on the top side, uh, okay, 
the uh, normal order is supposed to be honey first. And black honey, and then white curry. Okay, can you see the trick here? If black not attire this one, and we have this attire. Okay, and the camera. I guess you can see this, right? Yeah, so uh, this wouldn't happen. This is uh, pretty bad to black. So black, uh, I guess it's kind of obvious we cannot do this one because then this is double Atari, right? So this is also terrible. Which means uh, normally here we should consider black to this Atari. Here white cannot connect because then white we want to cut at J18. But now white we want to Atari from here. Black can only capture, white Atari, black connect. So basically you can see this is actually all the way Atari. If, uh, if you need it, it's, uh, let's say, for example, all the way Atari. Like this. So this is the basic shape. And regarding to the top side, when we talk about end game, of course, then it is like this. But let's never rule out the possibility of white might connect and face to this code, so to separate black. We can't rule out this kind of possibility. Because this kind of possibility is important here. You can already see black, <laughs> sorry to say, uh, this A group shape is ugly. And also between A and B, this is a KMA. Between B and C, this kind of jump. And or let's say B and C is probably okay, but C and D here, this came. Black shape is fragile. Black can be separated. And in case if black separated, this call is left and death to black potentially. Okay, then this is something you have to notice and you have to define. And so black is not completely safe here. In case if black is separated. I know you don't like the A shape. <laughs> yeah, nobody like the A shape. But the top side, this is basically the reality black has to face to. Okay, so you have that information. So you know that black needs to be super careful when it comes to around there. So from this sense, after you notice that kind of, uh, yeah, after you get that information, I guess you might actually have a relatively different evaluation about a wide center group. Hmm. Okay, so here I guess you already have a general evaluation. And so basically this board, black is optimistic as uh, yeah, let's say in general, because yeah, someone had mentioned earlier, and I, yeah, I think I'm basically on the same page. Here, as for territory, um, it's actually hard to say, but uh, black basically have a in general dominating position. Remember, in general, because here, there is some undermined problem. Okay, so black is in a in general dominating position, but still needs to be careful to control this game. Okay, so you already know this. Okay, ready for the 30 seconds? Actually, you know, you, let's say, normally, uh, yeah, let's say after the three minutes, uh, the clock wouldn't ask you, are you ready for the 30 seconds? You directly enter the 30, 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, now tell me the move. Okay, 10 seconds. Twenty seconds. Twenty five seconds. Twenty eight seconds. Thirty. Done. You have played your move out. You didn't really lose the period. Okay, let's see here. C seventeen, uh huh. E six. Uh huh. Uh C fourteen. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, e, four. sorry, where? E four. Mm. Okay. D eleven. Uh huh. And nine. And uh huh. Okay. H fourteen. H fourteen. I see. H fourteen. Super cautious. I see. Uh, C sixteen. Mm hmm and the C10. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. So in general, here after our analysis about this wide center group, in general, I would recommend the black to uh, keep putting stones on wide this kind of center group. Especially, yeah. Here, uh, I see one person. Uh, someone has actually suggested N nine. Especially consider N nine stomach. So yeah, that is something I would recommend. In general. We put our eyes towards the left side. It's right, and uh, I, I for first actually should comment about H14. I know that top side of that uh, picture is scary, and I know that uh, nobody wants to face to it. But the thing here is, when it comes to that, okay, I probably should show that shape again. When it really comes to this, first is actually this code. Earlier, I'm the one who connected it here. Because I'm saying, well, black may not really want the correct, so I connect here. And I'm, I'm just giving this example to show. Actually, even if black want to avoid the call, black cannot. Black still has to face to the call. But actually, the real call is more like this. And also, black doesn't have to trip the call here. Black can, for example, now if black feel like, OK, this call looks risky, and I'm not confident to win it, you cannot come back here. When white take the call here, you don't have to answer it because at the most he take again, right? And you can still play on the on the left side. So what I'm trying to say here is, even though this problem exists, it doesn't mean black is immediately in danger or black will need to already fix it. That's different. Yeah. So here, eight fourteen will be too cautious, or you are trying to play safer. Yeah, and on this board, you still have to try to play normal. Yeah. I understand you, but uh, yeah, let's say as my criteria, in that case, you are playing safer. Yeah, and on this board, I don't think here you can afford safer. Because black is still at the moment in general safe. Once you notice, okay, there, there can be a problem. And then I need to be careful. That's enough. Okay. Okay, and then let's say in general, oh, Roman said that you want to play S5. Uh, I don't mind you play, well, do I mind you play S5? Uh, actually, I might, because S5, you take a liberty for the bottom. You take a liberty for the bottom, your bottom group will gonna be in trouble, right? Yeah, I think then your bottom group will be in trouble. Yeah, so S5, uh, no, uh, yeah, we cannot play S5. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's come back here. In general, black plays stone on the left side is in general the right direction. So I also have to rule out the top left corner sense and evasion because here we are still in attack and defense situation. Earlier, I, I'm, uh, forgive me, I don't remember who said that, but uh, yeah, let's say that expression is right. We need to attack white left side in order to enhance the black center, and then black center wouldn't be in trouble, and then K18 will be limited as an end game. Yeah, earlier I have mentioned about, uh, let's say, this top side I said here. If it just do like this and those two is captured, this is a bad result. However, assuming white center group is already alive, yeah, because yeah, imagine we are in end game. Then here, those two is captured, but we get this capture, and potentially we can still jump in here. Let's say as for end game, this is actually not a loss. Yeah. So uh, in, in other words, here, then this facing to this problem, we can well say, okay, well I'm just gonna gonna cut here. Yeah. Actually, then black doesn't have a problem, but black will need need to actually keep the yeah keep the situation under control. That's important. Yeah. So here, I see. Uh, sorry. I see someone has mentioned this jump, that's in general the right direction. I see somebody has mentioned this attachment, this is my move. This is my move. And uh, some some other of you who has directly played on the left side, I, my question will be, how do you handle what attachment here? Will you just go to the corner to live? Is that your plan? Because if that is your plan, I'm saying, then you only put one single stone on the left side, and white actually get strong here. And then black in the center will be all weak. Here, territory is secondary. 
how strong and how, how weak the groups are, are actually crucial. So if your plan is, okay, if I press that A, I'm just gonna enter the corner. That cannot happen. Here, nobody care about money because people's life is in danger. We have to care about life or we have to care about health. I hope that's clear. Yeah, so here, if you ask me, my top choice is this attachment. Because like this, and then for example, we just invent attach here, push, connect, honey, and turn. In this way, I can see black get the, uh, let's say my language, my language will be the strongest shape I can imagine in the local area. So yeah, I'm strong. And even if white get the two space extension, we can still invent that attack because our bottom left is really strong. C14 is not irrelevant. Just, uh, you know, C14 is one that didn't really answer this basic A question. And so basically, it's still inside the category on, you put a stone on the left side, and then one actually gets strong. And you're that one single stone, I'm not even sure if it is in general helpful for the, let's say, the center attacking defense. Probably it even hurts because you put another, let's say, isolated stone you have to care about next. So probably it even hurts. Um, okay, like D7, cut. I don't understand what is your plan here. I hope you have read it because uh, if you haven't read it, this can be disastrous. I hope you have read it. So just Atari and like this. Uh, then he cut. My best guess, you want to say turn here? Is that your plan here? And then you put a nobby. And if you put again, he block. <laughs> I mean, I know what you are talking about. Here, white has a shoulder of liberty issue, but so has black, right? Because here, let's say, for example, down here, down from here, uh, you also have a short of liberty problem. Yeah, so this wouldn't be anything I recommend. And also here, even if, for example, you don't have this kind of problem, and for example, here, we say, okay, eventually here, white cannot block, so we can capture the three, and then white gets the left side. This itself is not necessarily a black gain on territory, and uh, with white strong shape, for example, if we come to something like this, it actually hurt, let's say, the, uh, let's say, these, yeah, the center attack defense situation, as you can see, because white on the left is strong. Yeah, it, yeah, it is a long sequence to read. Yeah, but here, you want to do this kind of specific plan. Yeah, this one, you say, I cut honey and then I cut here. Well, you have no choice, you have to read it. Mm. Okay, yeah, here I believe I have answered the question. So, yeah, once you directly react to 2A, here I give high score. Yeah, because we, yeah, let's say in general, if white get A here, white is gonna get strong facing to the center and that it hurts the attack in different situation. Okay, I guess about this one, it is clear. Uh, uh, Excuse me, uh, if you don't mind, uh, uh, I'm gonna move forward and you can probably check our video later, uh, okay, because we have a limited time left, okay? <laughs> All right, okay, okay, yeah, let's say clearly over prepared. Yeah, let's say I have prepared seven examples and uh, yeah, we only have exam at example three and almost running out of time. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay, let's come to the yeah the next one here. Under three minutes, I already three minutes. Tell me, type to me when you are ready. Then I'm gonna show you the board situation. Under that three minutes, count down. Ready? I need to see a couple more. <laughs> All right. Let's 
go. Three minutes countdown now. Yeah, I believe auntie remember this one, although this is back to a decade ago. <laughs> we are white. Unfortunately here, we are white. We have to face to this. Yeah, this is a this is a game uh, back to a decade ago. So prayer, you're right. Uh, you have a half, half a minute left. Sorry to say that, but you have half a minute left. Yeah, calm is always six and a half. Okay, time out. So, uh, but yeah, I guess you, we don't need that much time. You can actually see here what is in a very difficult position, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. So here we are in a very difficult position here because what the, the bottom group is suddenly that. Uh, in the game, I can tell the story is white was expecting black to play here. And then he answered this one, and then black play this one, for example, and then we can play the call to put him back. And then white can have this scene and cut. So at least then white is not directly dead, right? Probably here like this, black has better chance to die than white. Yeah, if, they, if this happened. So here, this was white reading on this board, but then black played here and put white in shock. Okay, so uh, this situation is bad. And uh, yeah, we already have mentioned earlier about if here we are in a very difficult position in general, what we should do? Yeah, that's a blind spot move. So he, yeah, that, yeah, that move, uh, is yeah really good but a big shock in this game. Mm. Rob something good. Rob what? Can you see a robbery? Mm. Yeah, it's easy to use the wording. The question is how to make it happen. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, this is the, I know this is pretty difficult, but uh, unfortunately, as procedure here. Yeah. Okay. I hope here you not only you notice what is that, but also do you have? Okay. Right. Okay. Be, before we enter thirty, 30 seconds, how much what is behind? Yeah, it is kind of far. It is kind of far. I know. But here, I have also have a question. Let's say here, this move gave White a shock. And White is actually taking his time to think and actually kind of run out of his time to actually think about what to do next. And so entered the Bay Yomi. Right after this, kind of. Okay. Uh, we don't talk about white here. Thinking about black, how does black feel at this moment? You know, here it is actually very important to think about how does black feel. Yeah, yes. Here, just imagine how yeah how does black feel at this moment about this border situation. Yeah, black will gonna feel too good, right? Yeah, but then when black feel too good, what does that mean? I guess the so you know that imagine you are in a game and you say here I am clearly ahead. I'm clearly ahead. Normally, even if the case that your feeling is, oh crap, okay, I had better not mess up this game. I'm at this position. I can't lose this one. Let's be careful. Let's not mess up. Most of you gonna think like that, right? And uh, when the opponent is feeling like that, you know, here, this is actually our opportunity. That basically means uh, as soon as we hold a toy gun into the store, the owner will immediately hand out all his cash and run away. He wouldn't even check. You have a gun. What kind of gun it is? Let's look clearer. He wouldn't look at it. He was just going to say, I don't want to die. And I will get, uh, gonna give the money. Immediately, yeah, this will gonna happen. That just means here, you know, on your hand, let's say what you need to find is not necessarily a gun. You need to find a toy gun and use that toy gun to stress something. Yes, exactly. You already know this logic here. Um, actually, I gave you one more minute and then we enter the 30 seconds. Please make your plan. Okay, let's start now. I first count down one minute. Yeah, I give one minute because this is not as easy. <laughs> Uh, Auntie, I'm going to talk about one more example after this. Is that okay? Uh, sure. Okay, thanks. Okay, now 30 seconds, count down. Twenty seconds. Twenty five. Twenty eight. Time. Play your move, please. Play your move, please. Nobody play a move yet. Play a move. 
。哦，给我一听，还是给我一听 ，F twelve， 啊哈 ，OK。O eighteen， 啊哈 ，O eighteen，B twelve， 啊哈 ，H seven， 啊哈 ，H eight，H eight，OK，I'm <笑>、okay, sorry，H seven， 啊 ，H five，H 啊，哦 ，H six，I see，R。嗯 ，I see. All right. Okay. Now let's talk about it here. Hmm. So, uh, I hope you have a plan when you play on top right corner, those kind of、uh, stuff, or roughly plan. You can't just do it blindly because.、Uh, Let's say, for example, I see Q18. If it works, I'd Q18 to take up a black corner. Q18 will be awesome, but I can't see it. You know, here you can't just say, "Okay, I need to rob something." Let's just just rob without any planning. Without any planning, basically, let's say you are destined to be in prison. So、uh, we can we cannot do that. So Q18,、mm, probably I wouldn't support it because I can't see how it survives. Um, O eighteen might be interesting. O eighteen can be interesting in that corner. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, the one who has mentioned O eighteen. I hope you are looking at what I'm looking at, and then I will say O eighteen has a point. And okay, and then about others.、Uh, On the left side, I don't think B12 will gonna do anything because Black that group can too easily live.、Uh, F12 is actually appreciated. F12 is the、uh, attitude, kind of facing to reality, and just to say, I get every single cent count. So can I get F12 and then push Black backwards a little bit? Okay. Yeah, and.、Um, Ah, I'm not sure either, but、uh, I hope here you see something like if black,、uh, if you play O18, black, if black dead, there are honey from the outside. For example, then next move you may、uh, double honey, and in case black nobi, and then then you, for example, you play the attachment at Sansa and Tiger, so aim at the outside clam and cut. Yeah, there can be some complication. Yeah, I would still call it unlikely, but on this board. Nothing is likely, so that is something. I guess it's worth a try. Yeah, is O15 too modest? O15 is definitely too modest. <laughs> O15, I don't think O15 we are gonna give white the win here. Yeah. S17 might be. Uh, aha.、Uh -huh. Uh, the S17 is also I cannot see how it works after black block S16. Okay, but yeah, okay, I'm gonna show here what happened、uh, here, what White did here in this game. Of course, okay, here if Black plays falling everything correctly, there's no chance for White. So White will need to rely on Black some sort of help. Yeah, so in the game, White played this one. Okay, here if black is very careful and black plays the peep, there's nothing. Huh? It's pro the pro the again, is it? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, it's good. Okay, thanks. So if black is careful, black peep is and then if white connect here and black connect everything. If black play carefully, nothing. Yeah. So fortunately, black cooperated a little bit, but okay, still you can see white is tricking, but white trick. Needs to be something you can, yeah, you can see that. Okay, the opponent might actually fall to my trap. You need to be able to see that. Okay, and here just a tip to many people who said, okay, so here the opponent is likely set a trip, and what I'm gonna do, set a trick, what I'm gonna do here. Normally, please remember here the answer is 
let's say, likely the most obvious move is the one that he is hoping you to play. The most obvious one. So here, White really want Black to Atari. Yeah, so yeah, if White really want Black to Atari, Black should actually be careful about should I Atari? My Atari is likely what exactly he wanted. Do I have an alternative? When you have a limited time, you say, okay, I can't figure out what's wrong with, yeah, yeah. I can't see, figure out what's wrong with the Atari yet, but I have a limited time. But uh, here, likely this is what he wants. Do I have an alternative? This is normally a good idea. Yeah. And here, yeah, so you, you can see this one. Then you, I guess you'll see what trick, what call here and cut. So like this, what I have I, I call it a theoretical opportunity. Oh, actually, yeah, let's say in the game, actually, what, yeah, what did is not exactly this. What actually plays the uh, attachment, and then this one cut. Yeah, as you can see that I, I 16, what is in Yeah. All right. And uh, then after this, uh, it, this is in theory, but you know, this is very much in theory because, yeah, let's temporarily forget about the existence of code. So Atari here, Net, Atari this one, Atari squeeze it, Atari, Atari here, connect. Why well, cannot even control this black group to run out? Well, there's a coexisting. So basically we say there's a fight and there's a coexisting. So black, every single move during this fight, he can take the code as a code threat. So this is actually impossible for white, right? But the thing here is, uh, once again, that factor matters. Black is winning the game. So black doesn't want to take any risk. It could be the variation I've shown to, to you earlier until this one. Huh, maybe he can find a move to seal me in. Then what I'm gonna do here? It's risky, for example, can I do this? <laughs> actually, one might actually be able to do this if he doesn't care about his own downplay. <laughs> well, actually, it is in theory possible. Yeah. The thing is here, black worry about this kind of stuff. So this is actually one opportunity. I can show you here what happened in yeah in the game here. So of course here, black take the take the call. And the white play the call threat. And then black Atari. I take the call. Yeah, of course black will gonna use his every single advantage. And the white then use the local call threat. Yeah, like this, and uh, connect, use the local thread. And then white put here. And when white put here, black take. Okay, this is an important moment. At this moment, Let's say maybe black didn't really get to see things earlier and black just say, okay, you were gonna play the call. I just answer you and every single move is my call threat, so I just answer you. Later, after the squeeze, let's see. Let's say the moment when he sees the squeeze, he will gonna see it's impossible for white to, to see or give in. So this is the moment white has to be realistic. And then, yeah, in the game, white take. Yeah, in the game, white take. And then, of course, black finish the call, right? And then this one comes. So why do we wanna, yeah, threat to take, yeah, threat to black left side and push a little bit. When black answers here in the center. Can you see why to get a territory kind of from nowhere by benefiting from the center panuki? And do you still remember earlier how much white was behind? Yeah, basically here, okay, you, we have big dreams. We also have to be realistic because let's say we may trick the opponent and the opponent may not really know what is going on. If we do, we have to tell our, ourselves the truth, especially when the truth is about to be revealed. Yeah, and here you can see here, from here, black still feel like, okay, I captured your, yeah, your bottom. I can just play safe to win. So black reduction is the following, is this one, and uh, this one, can you count?
So you can see how much white has increased in the center. Of course, yeah, let's say I will also put those two here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so basically the deficit is already gone, right? Because this is from nowhere. Yeah, but the, yeah, let's say Tanuki, uh, you will need more than F12 for that. Uh, but let's say here, of course, here, uh, yeah, I need to admit here why the trick the black. Yeah. Yeah, missing the squeeze was cute. But the problem is, yeah, imagine you are the one who is in this game. It is actually pretty understandable, right? Because the squeeze there, there are two cold threads there. Why am I going to waste it? Uh, in case if here it comes to the end that, okay, I cannot really get out and I still need, need to fight for this center call, why waste those cold threads? And most people will going to say, okay, let's save the cold threads here, right? So it is important here, white might is very clear about the margin in Bayomi, and then do the yeah, let's say, do what you can do here. Be realistic. Yeah. Okay, so this is what happened in the game, and this is how wide it turns the uh, impossible situation around, starting from here. Of course, with black cooperation. But uh, yeah, let's say here, black cooperation, the first cooperation is careless. This one is careless. The following cooperation it's actually very understandable considering how big black was leading. So let's say many people can do the same or similarly. I still remember, let's say after that game, auntie has the, yeah, auntie was, yeah, auntie was with me and uh, auntie said something like, uh, yeah, let me see that, that situation there. Um, yeah, I don't think auntie remember, ah, oh, crap. Auntie said something like here, black can easily do this one, you jump, I call me, so you don't have the center. Yeah, so this works, and actually, yeah, if this happens, why do you still lose? Yeah. But yeah, the thing is, why do want to play safe, so this happened. Sorry, black want to play safe. Hmm. Okay, so... Uh, uh, I hope, let's say, I know that nobody has actually showed this example I have showed here. I do hope, let's say, the one you, yeah, you want to choose, for example, like uh, this one, you have your idea. Once you have your idea here and you have something relatively concrete, okay, you, yeah, let's say, then you can push forward. And also here, I would say, yeah, this is an idea too. It's just that you need to push slightly more because you can see here, this is, Definitely black influence facing the center, right? How can I transfer that to white? <laughs> yeah, otherwise center cannot be too much territory. Mm. Oh yeah, in the end, white won the game. I think white won the game by seven points. Yeah, call me was seven. I got no, I do remember a little bit. <laughs> call me seven. Mm. Yeah, so actually in the end, it's even white wins with a big margin. Yeah. Okay, I promise I'm gonna show the very last one. I'm gonna quickly show the very last one unless directly into the procedure. Are you ready? Yeah, if you're ready, I'm gonna quickly show that one. Ready? Very last one, okay? And let's do it quickly. I don't want to take anti too much time. Yeah. Okay, good. And let's start. This is the last one. Three minutes? What is the situation? Ah, sure, no problem. Okay, talk to you later then. See ya. This isn't familiar, shouldn't be.
Ah, that could be. Mm. But here our topic is different. Okay, 30 seconds. We have lost 10 seconds. What is the situation here? How, yeah, can I tell about what is the whole board situation? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I want to see a couple more about how is the whole board situation here. Okay, so when you say black, okay here, uh, I guess here one uncertainty is clearly black left side group is not alive. And, uh, uh, and the black will clearly need to take care of it. But other than that, this is my most important question here. Other than that, what are the big moves available on the board? Imagine black next to you going to settle his group and then white, white, white next move. Where are the big moves available? Yeah, this is something you have to define it before you say, okay, I'm just going to take care of my group. Because you, it's important that before Bayomi, you know what is my task in the bowling game. R3, uh-huh. Anything else? I don't understand what does H8 mean. <laughs> what does H8 mean? Or J8? But the cut doesn't really exist, right? Because why can easily net it? I don't think cut really exists here. R14, uh, R14, mm, black is seen there, that's true. Mm. 
Okay. Well, okay, yeah, let's say I need to accelerate a little bit. Um, I hope you are ready for the 30 seconds and you decide your next move. And let's see here if, uh, yeah, let's say you might actually play something similar to my idea. Okay. Okay, let's count 30 seconds. Now. Twenty seconds. Twenty five seconds. Twenty eight seconds. Play your move now. Play your move. Well, you know, uh, you wouldn't be timed out if you say, okay, let's prepare something here, for example, eight times three, if needed. For example, then say someone here, I mentioned about H8 push, and if your next move, you plan to keep at the K9, I would say it's fine. Then you basically earn yourself the 30 seconds. If you say you would need more time, then please prepare this E advance, just like Marcel has mentioned, prepare time through the advance. Okay? But here, yeah, in general, I see the uh, yeah some 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 ideas to actually defend this black group. Hmm. Yeah. All right. And uh, I will show here what the black did in the game then. And uh, yeah, because you like I can already see. Yeah, your idea is just defend. Okay. Black idea here is uh, uh because if black just uh, uh take care of the group, very likely that we're gonna make black wide bottom left corner. Uh, cons consolidate the bottom left corner, and it can directly become white territory. This is something worth worrying. And so black idea is actually to make sure that the corner wouldn't directly be white territory first before you make the outside stronger. So in the game, black plays this one. Okay, and then white honey here, black double honey. Okay, Black just to try to get a little bit out from here. And uh, in the game, White will play this one, and it's something Black is very happy about. Because when Black attacks here, I guess you can see in the future, when needed, Black attacks here, Tiger, this is Sene, and White go back here, Black has this kind of Sene, Black leaves, right? And uh, basically, the border wouldn't change as uh, wide as the most of you want to have those two stones here, which wouldn't affect the black, uh, black group, group leaving too much. So at this moment, black tanuki and take up the group. So the only difference is this one. Yeah, so here there's uh, some, yeah, something uh, about details. It is uh, mainly about, for example, here I should show the honey. This one said is why this turn send it to thread black. And then if the if this one is sending, it, then let's say you invest Sansan can you still survive. You know, this is exactly let's say black major concern here. Yes, that, that is why here in the game black made those exchanges before black went back to live. Probably the last Atari is unnecessary. Yeah, let's say black and black and live black and leave it there. Mm. But okay, I guess it is already clear. But you know what? In general, if your mind is clear, uh, okay, the, the game is fine. I just need to mainly take care of my group. I guess you reach this kind of conclusion and you take care of your group is in general, right? Mm. Okay, yeah, okay, we are already a lot, yeah, a lot over time. I hope here today, yeah, I have already mentioned about it. in theory when you are under time pressure, how you how you supposed to manage that and the procedure. And we have practiced, let's say in general, in general, four times on it. 
Yeah, I prepare the seventh, but we get to practice four times. Four times is not enough. You need at least 40 times. I'm a player, you are used to follow, and you are capable to do that in your own games. So please practice this and just exactly follow this. And please also remember, your biggest enemy is your emotions. And if uh, yeah, the, the, the emotions is actually on the way in front, in front of you, uh, there's nothing you can do. So the number one thing is to make sure your mind dominates. And then you are capable to think about, okay, so here it is already approaching to be a Yomi. I need to follow this procedure. Okay, I hope this is all clear. Okay, so if, uh, let's say, if anything I have mentioned important uh, and you have missed, uh, I have mentioned at the first 20 minutes of this lecture, and uh, later I know Auntie we're going to upload this video on YouTube. Please check out the first 20 minutes and then just repeatedly practice this procedure. Okay? I hope you are going to get, get used to it and get strong in Bayomi. Mean, in the future, Bayomi wouldn't be something you worry about. Rather, that is your strong part, and that's somewhere you can win your games. Mm, thanks. Okay, before we finish the lecture here, and uh, yeah, so I hope, uh, let's say, uh, yeah, this is the lecture held by Nordic Go Dojo, and uh, I hope you are gonna visit the, uh, yeah, let's say, visit NDD site, and if you are interested, and you are welcome to join us, and uh, yeah, we have, uh, yeah, I'm just one of the teachers here, and we have many good teachers, and including Auntie, our professional player, who is actually at the background of this lecture, and helping, thanks. Yeah, and uh, yeah, please consider to join Nordic Go Dojo. And I also want to remind that uh, uh, next Saturday on the Miko channel uh, of uh, Twitch, and here I post the link. Next Saturday at, uh, uh, it, I think it is uh, 12 p.m. Uh, yeah, Central European time, uh, we are going to have a Go Jam. I think this is third go jam, and so basically it will, yeah, auntie will gonna, uh, yeah, there will be auntie, there will be me, and there will be Miko, and we are gonna talk about some interesting goal related topic, and likely we we'll also talk talk about some goal games. And if you are interested, please join us then. Remember next Saturday, and I think at the same time as our this lecture time, I think, yeah, okay, yeah, Miko has has already confirmed. So yeah, you are welcome to join us there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty much everything then. Thanks. And uh, yeah, so after next week, we are looking forward to meet you again in the uh, next NDD lecture in two weeks. And we'll, yeah, I, uh, yeah, we have to see who will be the one who will hold the lecture then. But okay, yeah, that's everything. Thank you. And let's talk for later. Yeah. Have a nice day.